And Joe, your Blackhawks won the lottery. Just what that organization needed. Everybody's excited. Number one draft pick in the number one city. You're a Blackhawk guy. Are you still happy? I see you're still smiling. <laughs> well, Kenny, the best thing that possibly could have <laughs> happened, happened. I think they have to change Chicago from the Windy City to the Drafty City after this past year. Uh, listen, Kyle Davidson and his front office basically were structuring this whole thing in case they didn't land the rights to Connor Bedard. Now they got him. Uh, they, they are kind of playing with house money. They've got four picks in the second round this upcoming draft. They still have that number 19 pick coming from Tampa, and they've got two first-round picks for the next two years. So they have not only the number five farm system at the moment, they've got the number one prospect, or at least the rights to him, mm -hmm. and already a few prospects that are probably going to make a turn this upcoming year. There's a whole lot to be excited for. I understand he's 17 years old. There's a whole lot of pressure riding on this kid. But hockey is different, and first overall draft picks pan out. It worked for McDavid, it worked for Crosby, it worked for Kane, and there is a lot more hype on this Bedard kid. Really not that much reason to think it can't happen. How important is he going to be from day one to the Blackhawks? He is important because he sold tickets. <laughs> $5.2 million. You know, that's, that's, that has a big thing to do with it. <laughs> Also, it changes the fact that he's a generational player. You don't get them often. And when you get them, you got to make sure that you uh, develop everyone around him because he's already at a point where he's terrific. But everyone around him has to be at his standard. And they have to protect him a lot of ways, not just on the ice, but off the ice. Because being mm -hmm. in Chicago for any, any, any young player is tough. And so they're going to need to do that too. Jay, he'll be 18 when the season starts. How much pressure is going to be on this young man, the third largest market in the NHL? He's going to be the face of the franchise. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if that's any more than it was when he was like the toast of Canada. Has basically, I mean, to be the best hockey player, you know, the best up and coming hockey player in Canada comes with its own set of pressure. I mean, and playing on their their World Juniors teams and all that stuff, and he's been, you know, under pressure to deliver all along, and uh, you know, he's stepped up to this point. I mean. It, it changes everything for the Blackhawks. It changes everything in terms of how they set up the future. It makes them a more attractive des like destination when they decide they want to build around him in a certain substantive way. Uh, but, I mean, in terms of the pressure, I mean, I'm sure the kid will feel it. I think they will insulate him a little bit towards that. But this kid's been dealing with pressure all his life.